After a virus turns people into flesh-eating rage monsters, a doctor finds a cure for the disease. This film chronicles humans and necrosapiens trying to reintegrate together back into a normal society. The film depicts themes of racial, sexual, political, and religious hurdles and biases, all wrapped in a documentary-style comedy. I was fortunate enough to receive an early screener for What Doesn't Kill Us. This is the newest Undead offering from directors Zach Schlapkohl, Jacob Kiesling, and Ethan Cartwright. And they were violent. Until a young doctor out of Venezuela came forward with an experiment that could reverse the effect on the victims. Get down, baby. Get down. I said get down! I told him, I told him he was a three iron. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> East Texas, where the Bible Belt begins and where all your problems end. Keith, well, he's, he's been a real surprise for us. Sometimes his, his condition can uh, provide for some awkward situations. Must be a proud father. Aww. Ooh. We run everywhere or we shamble. I mean, we don't just walk at normal speed. Come to my game and you will see how fast I am. You know, being the first necro sapien athlete to actually make some noise nationally. You can barely hit it out of the infield. That's a pretty big deal. Oh yeah, we only eat meat. We don't brush our teeth. We are completely impotent. Necro sapiens can mate. I mean, there are enough of us around now. Have you now or at any time had issues with sperm production? <sighs> I don't think yes. so. Walker, fighter, grave crawler. The infected. I'm definitely not one of those guys that gets offended by the Z word. Is that the zombie fella? It's not a zombie movie. What up, zombie? Don't make us angry. We have a really bad temper. Yeah, temper. Temper. Um, some refund or something, right? Well, we don't do refunds. You know what? You better do refunds. <laughs> Another strikeout. You can see the frustration on his face. We're in the middle of a war. Have some self respect. After I graduate, we're moving in together. Over my dead body! Oh, you know what they say. What doesn't kill us only makes us stronger. So my first thoughts on the film, this film is funny, like it's really funny. 90% uh, of the jokes land in this film, which is really hard to pull off uh, for this style of like mockumentary to keep you that invested and to keep the jokes rolling and keep them appropriate. Uh, not all of them land. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, the, some of the characters, like uh, there's a coach in there that I guess the, the joke is just that he, he used the F word a lot, just drops F bombs. That didn't really land for me. Uh, but for the most part, like I was chuckling and belly laughing throughout. Also, technically speaking, I don't know what the budget is on this film, but it actually looks stellar. Uh, aside from a couple times where you see the, the seams like post production wise, it actually looks really fantastic. The editing is brisk and fluid, and it's filled to the brim with a lot of undead Easter eggs. What this zombie film does great is fleshing out its characters like Keith and like Jeremy. This is a complete non-spoiler review, so I don't even want to get into specifics, but you are kind of transported from, from place to place, uh, and, and it is a bit jarring sometimes, but as a whole, it is pretty effective. The film's not all laughs either. It does have surprisingly a, like copious amounts of heart to it. It depicts the afflicted going through normal things that everyday Americans go through. It's about trying to fit in and succeed in a world that already has preconceived notions that you're just a horrible monster trying to bite someone's face off all the time. Let's talk about the zombie makeup real quick. It it like it comes off as a little bit silly at first. Once you kind of settle in into the environment of the film and 
I kind of applaud where the filmmakers were going. It's definitely more of a Romero-esque Night of the Living Dead classic style look. And once that kind of sunk in a, a little bit for me, it became one of the most endearing aspects of the entire experience. All the actors were fantastic, especially the performances from our leads. Uh, Keith's wife was absolutely great. I don't know how long filming went on, but everyone seemed very familiar with their roles. Uh, they delivered the, the heartstring moments on time, as well as everyone having uh, spectacular comedic timing. One critical choice I might have implemented to make it kind of uh, open it up for a broader audience is to maybe kind of bleep out a lot of the curse words. This is not a uh, gruesome movie. This is not like a hard R. Um, there is some, some thematic, you know, zombie moments, of course, but I believe once it gets released theatrically, something that might have opened it up for a broader audience is to maybe bleep out some of the, the swear words, which would have worked thematically due to its documentary style. This film has a clear message of overcoming your own limitations and racial barriers, of being an undead member of society. This message is prevalent throughout, uh, which is handled most of the time with great deals of finesse. What doesn't kill us was a real treat delivering laughs and current social commentary and should be enjoyed by teens and adults alike. If you're a fan of the zombie genre, then you will love this lighthearted and feel-good addition to your necrotic library. Where can you find this movie? Right now, nowhere. They are submitting it to many film festivals and just hopefully what doesn't kill us might be playing in your town. So if you like this review and you want to see more like it on this very channel, go ahead and leave in the comments, subscribe, do all the YouTube things, go ahead over to Stitcher Radio, check out our podcasts like Director's Cut and The Cult of Films. You can find me on Twitter at Orzop Dunn. Until next time, I'll see you all at the movies.